So this is IMM 5406, which is additional family information. When you are doing your PR application online, this will be available online. Once you understand what this form is, you will be able to do online, offline, any which ways. Once you have an understanding, you will not make any mistake. When we came on PR, that is my wife and I, once our PR process started, that is the time when IRCC asked us to provide this detail and each one of us had to give our family information. So first thing first, where to find this form in case you are not doing this online. So this is the link. The link will be there in the description form related to permanent residence. And once you come down here, you have this additional family information. I hope you are able to do this online. If you are not able to do this online and you have to upload, then in that case, just right click save as and once once it is saved as file, then you will have to open this with Adobe Acrobat Reader. For that, you will have to install Adobe Acrobat Reader, which is a free version. And with that, you will be able to open. And once you open, this is how the form will look like if it is a offline form. If it is digital, you will get each section in front of you with the details which is getting asked here. And I will start going over one by one. So the principal applicant, their spouses, common law or conjugal partner if applicable and all dependent children 18 years of age or older must complete their own copy of this form. So for example, if Ram Kumar, who is the principal applicant, he is married and he has dependent children who are 18 years of age or older. Only they need to complete this form. And who is a dependent children? A children who is under maximum age and is not married or in common law relationship. So if a person is married or in a common law relationship above 18 year old, then does not qualify as dependent. And children must be under 22 year old. So anyone who is above 18 year old, but less than 22 year old, who is not married, who is not in a relationship. So not have a spouse or a common law part. So a child's age is usually logged in when we get a complete application. So you can use this online tool to check if the child qualifies as dependent. So once you open this, come here and you can use this questionnaire to find out if your child is a dependent or not. So I will just go over it and uh, I will click here for the PR. And once you come down, for example, skilled worker, federal, and uh, you select this. And then once you make the selections, then you get this kind of response. You see here, your child qualifies as a type A dependent. Now, this is just a tool. So once IRCC asks for more detail and information, it will get assessed. So when you're filling the form, you can mention the person as a dependent. Just go to this link, read this detail and you will be able to get a better overview. If the person is a permanent resident or citizen, then this form is not applicable. This is for anyone who is coming from outside, who is a principal applicant, spouse and all dependent children 18 years of age or older. So if, for example, this person has a spouse and a dependent a son, then son also will have to fill this application separately. So one form will be filled by the principal applicant, one by the spouse and one by the dependent children. So complete all names in English and in your native language. So along with English, the native language language also has to be updated and uh, in case you are not very well versed with your uh, native language then you can take a help of Google Translate for example here Ram Kumar in English has been entered and this Ram Kumar in Hindi just gets copied and transferred so if you are not sure about uh, the right way of uh, writing you can take help with someone who understand the language and get it checked if the name what is shown here is correct and then you can update the Form. So coming to the section A, which is the applicant section. So here Ram Kumar is filling the application. So Ram Kumar becomes the applicant. And in case in next one, the other form spouse is entering. So the spouse become the applicant. And if son is filling, the son becomes the app. So for each one of them, they will be filling their family details. And here Ram Kumar has entered family name, given name, date of birth and country uh, where the birth happened the address make sure the address is complete and then marital status from this drop down so one thing which i don't see here which is there online is if a person is deceased that get shown here which is not the case in this drop down so here it's shown married and then the email address and also confirming i was physically present at the 
marriage ceremony. So, which means it was not a proxy marriage. So, in case if this is not the case, then you'll have to select this and uh, spouse detail. Here, spouse detail is given, family name, given name, date of birth, and then country of birth, present address. So, by logic, if both spouse are still alive and together, the address would be same. And then marital status. So, then comes the email address. Now, once we come down, this is for Ram Kumar, who is the applicant. So Ram Kumar's mother or father's detail, okay, that gets entered in a similar fashion, how the other details were completed. And uh, in case they did not have any email address, you can, you can just write N. And then mother's detail in similar fashion. So here you will be able to show what their present status is. In the online form, you have a section called deceased. And here if deceased, give city, town, country or territory and date. So when they died, that date has to be mentioned here in this box. The online form is a much simpler version. Here you see a limitation of space. But when it is online, it is much more clearer. So once you understand this, you will be able to do this part. Then coming down here, uh, they have a son. Son's detail will get entered. Relationship, son, and then family name, given name, date of birth, country, present address, marital status. Since it is a dependent uh, son, single and email address if it is available. So once this is getting filled, if it is more than one dependent, then those details get filled. And if there are no children, just select I don't have any children and this box will disappear. And then similarly for Ram Kumar's brothers or sister. So for each of the relationship, details will get filled. And this record uh, helps IRCC to have this prior information anytime in future. There is a requirement for them to validate and they know that this is the family tree. So here I'm choosing I don't have brother and sister and you see the entire document is now complete. So in case this has to be filled, you just uncheck and start filling this deal. And once this is done, here signature. So you'll be able to validate this, take a printout and upload the document. In case it is online, it will happen online. So you enter the date and signature. That's it about this IMM 5406. In case you have any question, comment, please uh, uh, use the comment section and I'll be more than happy to direct you to the right resource. Thank you.